there were a lot of uh, coastal areas that that we have that now have to think about ways to uh, mitigate this whole rising uh, tides and the rising uh, seashores. And I, I love this this area, uh, which is Norfolk and Virginia Beach and Hampton and Newport News and that whole area. Uh, but it might be underwater if we don't do something about it. I think the image of a church in a town surrounded by water, so not being able to have services and not being able to continue its normal life is a message to us that we can't pretend this isn't happening and that it's not affecting us and our communities and our faith. So seeing a church that had to sell its building because of sea level rise because it can no longer be the sacred space in the way it was for that worshiping community for so long. It was always thought that it is a remote thing, but listening through the talks and uh, walking through the city and observing the floods and all those kind of things, I, you realize that it is a current problem, it is not a future problem. We have the kind of uh, uh, discrimination that comes when policymakers make decisions for. And so displacement is happening uh, under the guise of offering an opportunity. And that also makes us worried about how human actions impact the earth and our actions, how they make, make our own life dangerous. Knowing that we are going to have to adapt, the question isn't if we have to, it's, it's when, and are we going to be prepared? And this is a topic that is a fair topic for uh, every local congregation.